Hey guys, today we're going to give you a super, super simple tip to save on money and to be able to have um, a lot of extras when it comes to batteries for gear. Now oftentimes what you'll see is um, a lot of people selling electronics with really outdated battery packs. And by that I mean these nickel cadmium packs, which are pretty much obsolete in almost every sense of the word. So. What I've kind of found is, is oftentimes you find these in like RC cars, radios, things like that. And it's very easy to actually replace these out and upgrade them to the modern standard, which is nickel metal hydride. Now you can go and make yourself a battery pack just like this, you know, by soldering tabs across and all that. But for some people that is a little intimidating or they're not comfortable soldering or anything. So I just want to show you how you can do pretty much the same exact thing by spending about two dollars or less now what you're going to need are these little four AA battery holders and you can get them all over the place ebay amazon all different kinds of electronic stores you know you're not going to find it in your average big box store but you know so your first thing we're going to do is test and make sure it fits into your electronics Things like radios and things like that are not always going to have the room. They're actually form-fitted to these battery packs. But in my case, I actually have a couple of things that look like they have the room. And the cool thing with these is you can actually do some trimming. So if the corners don't fit, you can actually trim this plastic down. Really not a big deal as long as you don't break the continuity between the tabs. So, real simple. You can either buy a new connector or cut your one off an old battery. Now these nickel uh, cadmiums here are like six, seven bucks when you buy them online. And you know, they're nickel cadmium. They're not that great. They're only a couple hundred uh, milliamp hours. So you, I really don't use them. So what you can do is either cut these off and splice onto your wires, you know, obviously red to red, black to black. You can just twist the wires together and electrical tape them. If you have butt joints, you can uh, butt them together and then crimp them with a pair of pliers. Those are inexpensive too. You can get those at Home Depot. They're just called uh, butt connectors. Um, they're right with the electronics. You can do that. That's very easy. All you need is a set of pliers. You can solder them, of course. Solder is probably the safest and the best connection. And then, of course, you can do a little uh, heat shrink tubing over the connection to protect it. Now, of course, there are various upgrades as well. As you can notice, there is a difference in the uh, wires here. It's very easy to get in here and uh, remove that wire and solder in a thicker wire. So if you do have something that takes maybe higher amps, it's not up to par with what you're given here. That is very easy to do as well. And then from there, you're just going to slam in four nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries. That could be your Eneloops or Duracells or Energizers or anything like that. And you can... Uh, charge them and use them and if you have you know actually you, know, you look online you can go and buy you know 16 packs of rechargeables for 20 bucks that'll give you four different sets of batteries versus paying six seven bucks a piece for these you're talking forty dollars for the batteries plus you can use them in other things when you have other items that take double a's it just lets you expand out your whole system so i've been converting over all the toys and rc cars and things like that to take four batteries that use these old nickel cadmium packs, I'm switching them over to AA. So each individual one, like I said, is gonna be a little bit of a puzzle because you may have to do some trimming or you know, like rounding off the edges. But uh, for the most part, these are very similar in size. You can see it's just the tiniest bit bigger. But uh, if you got the room, if the compartment has the room in it, do it. You will definitely save a ton of money. And of course, the other thing you can do is to make your own battery packs just like this there's literally just tabs soldered between them they're the four are hooked up in serial very easy job as well but then you do lose the capability to just use removable batteries so simple easy simple tip you know you just want to make sure it does say 4.8 volts and that you're replacing them with you know the nickel metal hydride alternative